So another short video and another quick way to use your TI Inspire CAS calculator to your benefit. Today we're going to be finding the area of a triangle using matrices and determinants. Um, so let's say we have this triangle and we have the vertices, we have points like the point 1, 2 or the point 2, 5, etc. But we know all the x, y coordinates for the three vertices of the triangle and we need to find its area. Well, we can do that really easily. And the way we would find the area is that we would take one half times the times the determinant of the matrix x sub 1, y sub 1, 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. And hopefully you can see that this point right here, the point x sub 1, y sub 1, well, that's this point. You just pick this in and you put it in here. And this one goes from here and goes into here and all the way down to here, okay? What is important is that you don't try to do this using the matrix, that you have to take the determinant of the matrix. Please forgive me for the fact that I'm not willing to go in this video and talk to you about how you determine uh, the how you determine the determinant of a matrix you can find that in most good college um, algebra books and some algebra 2 books if they're really good books so let's just try this so if you don't mind copying the following question and then we'll get going with the video um, okay so we have this triangle and it has vertices at the point 1 2 6 2 and 4 0 and we need to find the area of the triangle assuming you're allowed to use your calculator this should take you about one minute so here we go, and let's see how quickly we can do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going into the calculator screen. You can do that. For you, what you would have done here is you would have just hit um, Control Page Down. And it, would have, it would have prompted you, what do you want to do? And you want to go to a calculator. And then we're just going to do what we said. We're going to take 1 half times. This is actually really cool. Uh, TI Inspire, they've been really cool about if you type something in your calculator recognizes that a command, it will take it from italics to standard print. So we see the D and the E in there in italics, but as soon as we have the T, your calculator says that it recognizes it. It recognizes this as the determinant, and we want the determinant of. So now we're going to go here. If you follow the cursor to right here, the button that just went red on you, it'll open up this screen, and you need to make your choice. If you have a matrix, uh, a matrix that's a 2x2, two two, a 1x2, or a 2x1, you can choose them here. If you have uh, a matrix that you want to customize, you would make it here, and it comes up standard as a 3x3, as a three three, and that, in, in fact, is what we want. So we want three rows, three columns. So I'm going to choose that, just putting OK. Then I'm going to fill in these values, and hopefully you copy the problem down. But if you remember, we had the point 1, 2, so that would be the point 1, let me do this, 1, Two, whoops, sorry, one, two, one. We also had the point, we had four, zero, didn't we? We had the point four, zero, one. They're all going to have ones here. And we had the point six, two. So six, two, I'm moving my cursor around. You can do that here or using the, or using the tab, either one. We had the point six, two, right? Now, this is what I just found out earlier today. I'm screwing around with this thing. I'm like, this is so easy. And then I start getting wrong answers. And I realize that I'm not checking my, my entries, my elements, before I hit enter. So I'm going to check. I have the point 1, 2. That's that. I have the point 4, 0, 1. I have the point 6, 2, 1. I have the terminate DET. It's in standard form. I have it times 1 half. I'm going to bring this to the outside. I'm going to hit enter. <laughs> you suck. I'm going to hit enter. What the... Are you talking about? Now we only do that. So I'm, you know, I could get out of this video right now and and whatever, but I'm not going to. When you get these, you're going to get these messages a lot. Just kind of go with. I know this is going to fix it, and here it is. Should be five. Okay. So sorry. If you're thinking, man, you should have edited that out. No, I, I think it's cool that we should know that once in a while you're going to get hung up and it's not a big deal. Take a second. You're all right. So there's that. Uh, if you wanted another problem to do, I could tell you that the Bermuda Triangle has uh, approximate coordinates of uh, 938, comma, 454, comma, 900, comma, comma negative 518, and last at a point zero zero. And you tell me what the area of that is, and I think it should be about... Uh, 447,000 square miles. I hope this video was helpful. If you have found a way to do this better or make it easier, let me know. Let me know. I'm dying to know.